So, the last topic we need before we talk about circles in 1.1 is this idea of a midpoint. And a midpoint is simply a point that is exactly halfway between two points. So let's see, last time we had the point 2, 5, right about here, and the point 5, 1. So this is 2, 5, and this is 5, 1. And the question is, what's the point that's halfway in between these two? Well, let's simplify it a bit. Just look at these points on the x-axis. What's halfway between 2 and 5? Well, the way you get that is you just add 2 and 5, then divide by 2. So this is 7 halves, or 6 and a half, 3.5. That's for x. And then for y, see this is at 5, and this is down here at 1. What number is halfway between 1 and 5? Well, you do the same thing, you just average. So if we average, 1 and 5, we end up with 6 over 2, which is 3. And that's it. The midpoint is the point 3.5, so somewhere about here, and 3, so somewhere about here. And assuming my drawing isn't too crappy, this should be about halfway between our two points. And that's it. Midpoint here is 3.5 comma 3. So let's generalize this again. What have we done? Well, we were given two points, so we'll stick with the x1, y1, and x2, y2, you know, one point and another point. So we've got two points here. The midpoint The midpoint, how do we get the midpoint? Well, with the x's, we just looked at it, we just looked at the x's first, and then we looked at the y's. When we looked at the x's, we said, what's halfway between these two x's? And we realized we could just average the two numbers. So if we look at the x's and average the two, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, that became our x-coordinate. So if this is a point, this should be our x-coordinate, the average of the x's. Then we looked at the y's, the y-coordinates, and we did the same thing. We averaged these two y-coordinates, and the number we got out was our y-coordinate for the midpoint. So that's it. This is the midpoint between two points.